Hello and welcome to another video presented by Ignite Network Solutions. My name is Brad Murphy. Ignite Network Solutions is an information technology consulting firm located in Cleveland, Ohio. They provide IT and network solutions throughout Northeast Ohio and Western Pennsylvania. In this video, we are going to take a look at the ribbon in Excel 2013 and how to customize it to make us more productive. By default, Excel 2013 comes with a list of standard tabs. These tabs in the, quick, in the ribbon can be customized to your needs, or you can create a whole new tab with all your favorite options in it. To do this, we want to select File and go to Options, and this will open up the Excel Options window. There's going to be an option for Customize Ribbon. I want you to select Customize Ribbon, and over here on the right hand side you'll notice that this is your current setup in your ribbon. There are currently check marks to enable these different options. You'll notice that Developer is unchecked, which means it's disabled. If you want to enable that, you can put a check mark in here. If you want to disable a tab, let's say the Formulas tab, remove the check mark from the box and select OK. And now you'll notice that we have the developer option available and the formula option has been removed since we disabled it. Next I want to show you how to rename your tabs. So go back into options and go back to customize ribbon. So these tabs have different names but these tab names can be renamed say for example data you want to rename something else highlight what you want and select rename and for this example I'm just going to name it example select OK and I'm going to select OK again and you'll notice that data has now been renamed example And the last thing I want to show you in this example is how to create your own tab. To do this, select New Tab, and then it will go ahead and create a new tab and a new group within that tab. Go ahead and give your tab a name by right-clicking on it and selecting Rename. For this example, I'm just going to use my company name. Now, if you're going to have multiple groups you have to or you should it's good practice to name your groups something to set it apart I however I'm just gonna have this one group so I'm gonna leave it as the default name and over here underneath popular commands you can go ahead and start adding in whatever commands that you feel that you want in your group so I've added four example commands the I just selected these at random and now I'm going to select OK. And now I have my own personal tab up here in the ribbon with the commands that I selected in here. 